may try and get aggressive. He's totally f***ed me up. It's up to you whether or not you want to hit me or whether you want to back off. Just keep your cool, buddy, all right? Everybody's got the same problem as you. Stay calm, okay? Stay cool, okay? Round four, Hunting de Toronto, is probably the most important race weekends of the season. I'm currently sitting third in the championship, 31 points out of first place. This is really one of the weekends where we want to gain ground on the two cars ahead of us instead of lose ground. It's basically going to come down to the championship run, which is starting right now. We need to gain momentum, start gaining points on those two guys in front of us so that we're in a very good position going into the next couple of race weekends. This weekend's very important in terms of championship. We have to at least come out of here in third position if we plan on winning the championship. And what you definitely don't want to do is look back at weekends like this and say, we could have had 10 more points here, we could have had five more points, and have that be the difference between winning the championship and losing it at the end of the season. At this point, we can't come out of Toronto with a good finish. They're going to be tougher to beat after this weekend, the minis especially. Points are very difficult to gain because there's only a five point spread between positions. Points are very easy to lose because if you have one bad race, you're losing a ton of points. It's really a numbers game and consistency is what really pays off. Winning helps, of course. All right, PJ, you do your thing, bud. Got it. But you 25 6, bud, keep going. LA just did a 23 9. That's what we need to do. 23-8? Holy shit! Helen Bach just popped to 23-8. Think you got three seconds? I'm gonna try. Pulled a 22.998, so 23 flat. Michelle pulled a 23.6. What did we do? 24.9, one tenth off hand city. I'm sorry, man. Two seconds off the pace. Yeah. Yeah, but on the bright side of things, we were way off the pace at most for. Exactly. Pulled by P10. Oh, Don't let bro. this frustrate you. No, well, not at all. This I'll, makes me angry just like it did last time. I'll throw a different setup at the car, same as they did at most for. <laughs> And look at what we did. And we'll come back though. I just don't like this. This sucks. Okay. It's just uh, getting over the frustration because every person ahead of me in the championship is ahead of me in uh, the starting group right now. That frustrates me. Our whole goal coming into Indy was to gain points and hopefully catch up on them some more. It's all a numbers game right now in terms of points. Whatever you give away now is going to bite you in the at the end of the season, and we can't have that. You have a habit of spinning cars at tighter tracks, whether that's your driving or whether that's the car or whatnot, but we've seen it kind of happen. Spinning happens when I'm pushing the car to the limit. You always want to be out there on the limit. Sometimes you overstep those boundaries, and that's where you spin. Isn't that what everyone's doing now? Everyone's pushing their car the fastest. Everyone's trying to get the most out of it. And some yeah. guys spin at every track and some guys don't. Maybe, but maybe I'm pushing that much harder to find the limit. I don't fear hitting things. I don't fear spinning. I've hit other cars. I've hit walls. I've gone into the tires at the end of the straight at Trois Rivières at probably 100 kilometers an hour. I don't face me. I'll get right back in the car and do it again. Doesn't matter. I'm out here to go as fast as I can, get as many points as I can. I'm not out here to settle for just driving. I want to win and I want to finish on the podium every single time I'm out there. All right, you ready? You ready? Green, 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 go, 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 go. Going into corner one, I get a really good start on the throttle. I'm right up behind Gary Clock, chasing him down, knowing that we've got to make our moves at the start of the race. Lap one, we basically get into third place get up behind the minis and it was just maintaining. I knew I didn't have the speed to pass them, but I knew I could keep up with them. Got real pushy. Just settle in, bud, and do your thing. Try and make that car as wide as possible. You're P4 right now with about 10 minutes remaining. 
in your passion for for driving and your quest for the championship, did you push the car too hard? Absolutely. I was out there fighting as hard as I could to keep those two Civics behind me. It was it was hell driving. I had to work so hard just to keep them behind me. Every corner was about defending and trying to keep them behind me because I knew for the championship I needed those points. I needed to maintain that third place and it just didn't go as planned. Shake, shake. Everything okay? I hear you got a back bumper dangling. If it's not too bad, keep going, PJ. Shaking like a mother though. What happened? Got loose on me going into the turn eight and it came around. I hit the tires on the concrete. If it's bad, come into pit lane. Not coming in. Boy, keep going, keep going. That's it, silver. P5, bud, P5. You got some work to do, though. Not happy. Not happy at all. From third to fifth because of this, but uh, at least we scrounged fifth and they had the full course yellow and we didn't go backwards any further because there's a horrible vibration going down the back straight. So Sean's got his work cut out for him now and um, we'll recalibrate, get everything fixed and come back tomorrow and see if we can get back up to the third again and do it. Anything. Try new Castrol Edge. It's our best oil yet. It's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering. So, how are you feeling about points right now? This weekend's all about forward momentum and points. Mm. What are your thoughts on the point situation? I think we went backwards a little bit. I don't know if Elaine jumped us in the points. I don't think Gary did because he was pretty far back because of his first race in Mossport, but right now, it's just going to be to get as many points as we can. Definitely want to be on the podium at the end of this race and uh, roll into Mossport with a bit better feeling. You give it a little bit of love, knock some dent out, and uh, change some setup. You should be good to go. Move up a couple more positions yeah, at least. Well. It'll be a good day. The front end is getting fucked up now. This is going to be fun. It just grabs, man. The rear end is so nice and loose. That's what you wanted! Well, let's get a good start here. You have a bit of protection behind you with the A5. Uh, just do your thing, bud. Settle down and get comfy and tighten the belt. Alright, get ready. Get ready. Green, 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 green! Thank you. You share a pit stall. 
And their certification, I hope they didn't have to share. Could be a longer duck and hunt roll for a while for sure. The trip to hunt roll sometimes gets to be a longer one. I have no words for what just happened. This just killed our team. This is not where you want to be. Watch me. Every lap that goes by, it's one point for the guys in front of me and the guys behind me. My teammate took me out. It's as simple as that. I, no more, no less. He drove me into the wall. I was on the outside going into one. I was ahead of him. And he just drove me into the wall. And that's it. Control arms bent. One of our good rims that it aren't actually bending is in pieces. We're, we're not in a good place right now. Taken out by your teammate, not a good thing, especially since we're in the point hunt. It's the first weekend that Kurt competed. It's done. Nothing more to say. Waste of a weekend, waste of a lot of money. Pack up and go home. You were well past them? No, no, no. I'm telling you right now, I'm done with this bullshit. This is such a hillbilly. This professionalism? You f***ing wrecked the championship car. It's the first thing you can do. Get out of my way. Apparently it's your fault. My fault? Yeah. My fault. Yeah. You got all the f***ing goons over there protecting them. I think it can, you know, certainly there's, uh, the fault can be blamed. I, I think if PJ had just given me a foot a lot more or half a foot more, we would have been not talking about this right now. I can't drive through the wall. I was already outside. I couldn't have given any more space. I gave as much space as you can give someone. So what does this do for the points championship for you? We're screwed right now. We're absolutely screwed in the points right now. We're probably 150 points back of the championship leader. We're probably sitting sixth right now if we're lucky. This weekend has killed us. So I asked you at the beginning of the weekend why why you put yourself through this and why you race. Is, is your answer still the same? Yeah, my answer is still the same. I love this sport. Nothing's ever perfect. Nothing ever goes the way you want it to. Um, there's always attrition in racing. There's always challenges. If it was easy, anyone could do it. Um, this is definitely a huge, huge stumbling block. To drop three places in the middle of the season in the championship, to lose that many points, whatever. But I love racing, I, I love the sport, I love the challenges involved with it. It's not defeated me, it's just gonna come back even stronger.